What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you the highly requested Jin haircut from BTS. I'm gonna walk you guys through it step by step, show you how I would do it if I cut his hair um, the same way he wears it. So uh, we part it where he parts it and then I create a triangle on the top of the head going right to that recession point twist that up and clip it away that is the first section and then we're just going to split it uh, down the center back and create uh, a couple other sections to start off this cut all right so now i want to separate top and bottom in the back so i can draw a slight diagonal forward parting comb that hair nice and tight clip it away and then we do the same thing on the left hand side uh, nice diagonal forward parting nice and tight clip it away and now you've got your sectioning for the cut we're going to be working vertical sections all the way across the round of the head in the back um, this is really kind of the key factor is picking the right length here so you're going to see that i take about two inches away from the head uh, and start my cut that way and i just work that all the way through uh, that back portion of the head keeping everything nice and consistent bringing everything to the previously cut section and just kind of working a traveling guide throughout the back. Notice my finger working parallel with the head shape. That's a, a good way to make sure that you're following the right guideline. Don't let my over direction fool you here, guys. I'm pulling everything straight out from where it grows out of the head. That way we work a nice open section in the back. All right, so now I just clean up the hairline, work that through. That really completes that back section. Um, it makes it, it gives it a really nice clean look. You could leave it a little fringier if you like that as well. Uh, style's up to you on that. All right, so now that we completed the back, we're gonna start in the front and I'm really gonna create a brand new guideline, pulling everything horizontal and I'm gonna cut that to the desired length. So this is pretty tight to the head. He wears it pretty tight on the underneath and then it's a little bit disconnected through the top. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Work horizontally, lift that guide from the bottom up to your new section and keep cutting. That's gonna help work a nice little balanced shape on the side of the head. And then I switch to slight diagonal back uh, sectioning and I work verti almost vertical sections to build up that extra weight on the side. So you can see that I'm connecting down the inner part of my finger, I'm connecting it to the tip of my finger, running my uh, finger angle parallel to the wall. So just see how I keep working around the head shape. That's gonna build some pretty extreme weight um, once it gets to that parietal ridge area. If you guys are at all confused by anything that I've said in this video so far, you might want to check out the FSE digital haircutting system. This is a brand new system that we came out with so that we can all speak the same language and understand each other so much better. Included in this system is a digital terminology book with printable head sheets for each haircut. Um, you've got the terminology 101 video, eight step-by-step -step, uh, hair tutorials. So whether you've been cutting hair for years or you just started hair school, this system is for you you check it out on our online store shop fse all right so now we're going to continue on to the left hand side this is going to be very similar to what we did on the right hand side taking a horizontal section in the front temple area once you get that section into your hands uh, just a nice light tension on it cut it to the desired length and then check it on the opposite side to make sure that your lengths match up and then you can continue on through the haircut uh, this is going to give you a great view on everything that we're doing here lifting that guide up cutting it horizontally and then connecting it into the back that's a really important part of this so making sure that you work that horizontal line into the back you can see the two guidelines and just connect it through then we're going to work into more of that vertical uh, cutting in just a second
One of the great things about the uh, digital cutting system and why I think everyone should watch it at least once is the fact that it teaches you to understand hair cutting. Not only we're holding a section horizontally, but we see it vertically. Uh, and if that doesn't make sense to you, then you should definitely check it out uh, because no matter how you're holding the hair, you're always cutting it in both uh, directions. You just have to understand that to a little bit deeper level. So now as I'm working through it, it's more comfortable for me to work vertically. I'm more controlling that vertical weight as opposed to trying to control that horizontal weight. And I just work through uh, in a round fashion to build more of an open haircut, kind of pull that hair off of his face a little bit throughout this part of the haircut. What we're doing in this haircut is we call it combination haircutting. So what I'm doing is I'm combining what I would call an open uh, shape on this haircut, which is going to pull that weight off of his face, kind of like I said, and then we're gonna combine it with a closed shape in that triangle section in the very top. What does a closed shape do? It pushes the weight towards the face. So what I think is so unique about this style that he wears is the fact that it does kind of come off of his face for the most part, but then there's that little bit that kind of hugs right around his eyebrow and it falls forward. And I think that that's what attracts people to this haircut so much. Notice my finger angle is still parallel with the wall. What does that do? We're working on a round surface. So as I cut up, it gets heavier and heavier as it falls. So you can see that looks cool already. Uh, some of you might even want to leave it depending on the client. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring it all the way back, connect it to that back portion, but allow it to be disconnected into the front. Now we're going to style it up with Paul Mitchell Mitch uh, Steady Grip. This is a great, they call it a firm hold gel, but for me, it's just a really great base product. I put it in his wet hair. I blow it dry, uh, get a little bit of volume on it, and then I'll finalize it with another product in a second. This is the FSE Velcro Clips back in stock, guys, for the holiday season. So if you're looking to pick that up. Also, the Mizutani scissors that I'm using are available on our online store as well. If you want 15% off your scissor purchase, which is a huge amount off, uh, use the code HOLIDAY21 at checkout and you'll get 15% off that purchase. I finished it up with Paul Mitchell Mitch clean cut and I work that through his hair and you can just see how that front starts to fall. I think it matches really well with the picture that we showed you guys at the very beginning. I uh, hope you guys like this cut. Hope you can use it in the salon. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we got new videos like this coming out all the time. Thanks for watching guys. There's a few things that you have to understand about haircutting before you can really jump into doing haircuts. These are all things that I'm gonna teach you guys in the next eight haircuts. Truly understanding the why behind what you're doing in haircutting can make haircutting so much more fun and make you way more successful behind the chair.